Sairam children, today we are going to do the revision for our lesson number one food. We will also do some activities which you will enjoy. So as you know, food is our basic need which give us energy to do all our activities. Now, what is there in the food that give us energy to do all the activities? So that are nutrients. What are nutrients? Nutrients are substances in our food that are required by our body to keep it healthy and strong. And some of the essential nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, fiber, vitamin and minerals. Fiber we also call it, call it as roughage. Now we will understand all the nutrients one by one in brief then we will do some activities. Now, carbohydrates they are also called as energy giving food you know if you have the carbohydrates you will get the instant energy and then the food items that gives you carbohydrates are bread potatoes banana rice these are some of the uh, <coughs> examples which gives you the carbohydrates potato then uh, jaggery okay all these items gives you carbohydrates now we will do a small activity you have to identify i have given some pictures of food sources and you have to identify that which of the food source gives you the carbohydrates okay so first is banana another is ghee then is the bread then carrot noodles and rice so now you think okay i'll give you some seconds you tell me <clears throat> which of the food sources gives you carbohydrates hmm? yes so yes banana gives you the carbohydrates ghee doesn't give bread give you carbohydrates so i take bread yes then carrots then noodles noodles also gives you the carbohydrates and and rice rice also gives you the carbohydrates so these are the four food items that gives you the carbohydrates okay now next next important nutrients for your body is the proteins and they are called as body building substances why because they help you to grow they are needed by our body for building muscles growth and they also repair the damaged parts of the body right so proteins are important nutrient for your body and mainly the baby small children they need high protein okay and these are the food sources which gives you the proteins like fish meat then eggs pulses see all the pulses pulses are there different kinds of pulses that gives you the proteins then milk and this is the ghee protein okay so these are the these are some of the food sources that gives you the protein again we'll give we'll do some act, one activity here you will identify which food sources gives you the proteins right so again you have to think Think over it for some seconds, then I will give you the answer, right? Okay, children. So, first is the eggs. Eggs gives you protein. Yes, I will take my eggs. Then is the ghee. Then is the bread. Then carrot, milk and pulses. So, pulses also gives you the proteins. And milk also gives you the protein. So, these are the food uh, these are the three food sources out of this which gives you the proteins, right? Okay, we'll move to the next nutrient then. That is the fats. They give you energy and heat to your body. They, keep, they help you keep your body warm. And food items rich in carbohydrates also contain fats. These are the some food items they contain fat. But our body needs less amount of fats they are not required much and if there is more fat in your body that is stored in your body for the later use right now 
one n now here in this pictures the food sources are given in which you have to again identify which food sources gives you the gives you the fats so you get uh, fats from the oils right then g okay so i will mark where you get the food uh, protein a uh, fats so oil give you fats ghee give you fats then what else fried fried things okay all the fried uh, food items that you eat contains fats so these are the french fries that gives you the fats so these are the four sources which gives you fats out of this following following food items right fine now next are the vitamins very important they are called as the protective food because vitamins and minerals protect you protect you from the disease and keep you fit and healthy okay so uh, so they give you the resistance towards the disease they keep you healthy they don't uh, let you fall sick if you eat enough vitamins if you have enough vitamins and minerals in your food so now these are some of the uh, <clears throat> fruits and vegetables we get uh, vitamins and minerals mainly from the fruits and vegetables and these are the pictures of some of the foods uh, food sources that gives you vitamins like papaya then orange carrot capsicums then broccoli so apart from these also many other are there these are only some i have given which gives you the vitamins okay another is the minerals okay we get iron that is very important to make the blood iron which uh, iron mineral we get from the green leafy vegetables right and we get calcium that are important that is important for the healthy bones and teeth okay and that we get from the milk so minerals help our body to work properly and stay healthy right now we we'll do one activity you have to tell which of the food items gives you vitamins and minerals so first picture is of the oil that doesn't give you any vitamins so another is papaya so papaya is the is the is the fruit that gives you vitamin right then these peppers gives you vit, uh, vitamins okay then mineral you get from the a uh, green leafy vegetable and from the milk yes so this is how you have identified the food sources which gives you vitamin and mineral right now next moving to the next <coughs> the fish this is very important the fish and water are also needed by our body to keep us healthy not only means these are also important for the removal of the waste of from your body okay so see i will just read it out food items like cereals fresh vegetables fruits and salads cannot be digested by the body so the fish is a, is the is the nutrient that is not digested by the body but it is important for our for our body the part of the plant food that cannot be digested is called the roughage so if you eat many vegetables and fruits the uh, the fibers are automatically automatically you get the fibers and they are important to remove waste material from our body okay another thing that is important is the water you know water is very important for, for our life and it is also important for the proper digestion for eliminating waste material from our body and proper utilization of nutrients right our body contains two third of water right two third of of our body is made up of water and our body also needs at least 3 liters of water every day so you should drink enough water <clears throat> so that your your <clears throat> your body can digest all the food properly and the fish also helps to digest the food okay so 
and the phase you get from the different uh, vegetables fruits some cereals okay and that is not digested but it helps in digestion and removing the the waste material from our body now now here is a small activity okay here what you have to do you have to identify the uh, the nutrient and you have to find out that answer in the grid i have given okay here i will give you some some time for you to to think okay and then i'll help you out with the answers so first one is i help you to grow and repair damaged part of our of your body okay what is that you think over it then second is i keep you warm right another is my name starts with a b and i help you to fight disease i am next one i am a mineral i keep your bones and teeth strong yes another one you cannot digest me but you need me to send out the waste next one i am a preserved food okay so a grid is given in that you try to identify the the answer okay i'll give you some some seconds yes i help you to grow first one i help you to grow and repair damaged parts of your body what it can be hmm yes so it is proteins right i will mark the answer as protein c so first one i help you to grow and repair damaged parts of your body that is proteins right okay so now next i keep you warm if you have heard me properly nicely when i was explaining at that time what i had told just now is yes it is fats right so you will can you find out fat here hmm yes here it is so i'll mark it so second answer in which the uh, the nutrient help you keep warm is the fat yes next one my name starts with a v and i help you to fight disease yes very simple it is what can be the answer yes the answer is starts with uh, the name starts with v means it is vitamins see here is the answer here is the word vitamin hidden in the grid right now next one i am a mineral i keep your bones and strong and teeth strong okay what keeps your bones and teeth strong yes it is a mineral you identified it yes it is a the word is calcium now where do you find calcium word in this grid try to find it out yes here here is the word hidden it is calcium right another one you cannot digest me but you need me to send out waste yes what it can be yes what is the answer the answer is roughage can you find out roughage in this grid hmm yes it is roughage here right one more is there i am a preserved food you know what is preserved food the food which you can keep for many days and what it can be yes it is a 
it is a pickle yes it is a pickle now you try to find out the word in this grid got it hmm? yes so here it is pickle i am a preserved food it is a pickle got it i hope you understood the this much part of the lesson nicely now in the next period we are going to do the re further revision of this lesson means the another part of this lesson in the form of revision okay now for again to self study what you can do you can again go through this video and you can try to identify whatever activities we have done you can try to do it yourself and then memorize it right so here i stop it tomorrow again we will start we will continue with the revision part of this same lesson okay until then bye thank you